Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to make some explanation about uh, long breaks, short breaks. Actually more about uh, long break levers and short break levers. Um, it's something. It's something that I didn't. I didn't find much. Didn't find many infor much information about this on YouTube uh, and some uh, channels with questions and answers. Yes, uh, but uh, it's still something that seems a bit. Uh, it's not wide, widely uh, spread. Uh, this information and hopefully uh, it's going to be very uh, clear here in this video. So everything starts because this is the brake lever that I have in my bicycle. Uh, this is a Shimano proper for V brakes. My bicycle has V brakes, and this is one of those brakes that is integrated with a, a shifter. So I have this one here is the left hand side, and uh, I have another one just like that in the right hand side to change the gears uh, in the freewheel. But uh, I, I've, I've abolished using of uh, shifting uh, between uh, the, 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 the gears on, on the chain rings. So uh, I, found, I found this to be too bulky and I wanted something that was lean, leaner. And uh, when I put that all in the handlebar, it was going to be something easier, leaner. So that's why I decided to go for this one. I purchased this. Aulonga, Aulonga, I don't know how to say the name of this, uh, on uh, like a online, some sort of local, uh, um, um, local eBay or something like that here. Very good price, brand new. And then uh, I start looking around and uh, I, I start thinking that maybe my choice was not good. And indeed it was not. So when we talk about uh, long or short breaks, what is long, what is short? Well, first of all, we have to understand what is measured to say that it's long or short. So here's my break, and this is my pivot point of my break. And I'm gonna measure the distance, center to center, from here to here. This is uh, the pivot for the anchor. I could measure from here to here as well, but I'm taking the, 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 the pivot as, as a reference. So if I, if I take this distance, trying to go as much as possible center, center to center, then I'll have something like uh, around 43 millimeters from center pivot to center pivot, like a uh, pivot of the hand of the, the lever and the pivot of the, of the hanger. And then I decided to measure the same thing in this uh, new uh, brake lever and uh, I got surprised that in the end the distance was way, way uh, lower. From center to center, I'm trying to find a way of uh, measuring this, it's something like, uh, let me put down here, 20, 29, 28 or 29 millimeters center to center maybe a little bit less but you see from 29 to 43 uh, percentually speaking it's it's a it's a huge difference and then I thought okay so maybe if I install this levers in my bicycle which is this is a kind of a short lever in my bicycle which is long break and maybe it's not going to work, and indeed it doesn't. I tried this, I recorded, you guys are going to see uh, next. So the thing is, uh, this is uh, just to say, if you, if you have a, 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 a long break and a short lever, or vice versa, maybe not to go for it. Take the lever that is proper to your break. Then you're going to ask me, what is long, what is... What, what is short? I, 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 I never found this information online. 29 millimeters seems to be short, 43 seems to be long. I don't know what is the threshold there. I don't know what's the limit between them. But basically, it's very clear to see that this one here is very, very uh, uh, short. This one here is very long. And uh, you're going to see uh, the effects in the bicycle. Usually, when you buy stuff, uh, check for what sort of brake 
the lever is uh, intended to. If it's for V brakes, if it's for uh, disc brakes, so in general it's uh, long. If it's for cant lever, side pull, uh, whatever, this is this is short. So let's go to the bicycle and see uh, what uh, really uh, happens when you use uh, these two brakes in the same setup and what the effect is. So uh, by uh, by uh, detaching the cable, the noodle from the anchor, so then I have the brakes completely uh, detentioned and then I can simply remove the cable from the long brake lever to the short brake lever or, and vice versa. And then uh, the effects of uh, using one or the other uh, you, you, you see next. Okay, so this is my setup, not the most uh, neat and beautiful setup, but basically this one here is my short uh, brake lever. It's, uh, it's uh, well attached to the handlebar. This one here is my long brake lever. It's uh, not well attached, but for, for just for demonstration, this is, this is pretty good. And this is my V-brake. So right now what I have is the cable attached to the long uh, brake lever. And if you notice, I have like a pretty much zero adjustment here, which means if I, if I adjust this thing, I can, I can uh, give more tension to, to, to my cable. I have lots of room for tension to the cable. And what I'm going to do here is I will spin the wheel and I will show you what happens when I apply the brakes. Look at this. They stop is immediate. And uh, with the brake applied, if I try to spin the, the, this, this uh, wheel, I, I don't have a third hand here, but if I, if I try to spin, I cannot. It's well, well um, uh, grabbing the wheel. So what I'm gonna do now is by detaching uh, the, by disassembling the, the, the cable here from this anchor, uh, I will add a lot of slack on this cable and I will be able to remove the cable from here and I will put it in here. And then I'm going to show you exactly the same thing that happens. And one thing that I will advance right here in the, in the long uh, brake lever, I have lots of room for applying tension. And this one here, which is short, I will have added pretty much all the tension that I can and you see that the effect is quite different but this stay with me are, I'm gonna show you okay so here's my setup now uh, with the cable installed the anchor and going to the new uh, sorry to my uh, it's my new uh, 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 lever but this is the short lever notice that uh, I added lots of uh, uh, tension to the cable yet when I spin it and I apply full pressure have you noticed how long it takes it's the very same assembly but it takes long I'm trying to you see I can still spin despite of having full brake application so in other words this lever is not good enough for this kind of uh, uh, brakes. I could like uh, remove the cable, putting my more tension, making these pads very close to the rims. Yes, but who knows uh, how risky this would be. It's not proper. So recommendation is short brakes go with short levers, long brakes go with long levers. Better not to to mix them. My idea of using this one instead of this, I don't think is going to work. That's it.